Tokyo Game Show 2024, all eyes on the Razbam booth for an announcement. With bated breath and the leak of the Razbam booth design that dropped a few days before the show, we were hoping for a reunification of Microprose, now owners of BMS Falcon 4.0 Razbam, the Strike Eagle will be back. We're hoping for an announcement because the booth looked the same. SimFab, VR engineers, Ron Zambrano himself posting a countdown of random numbers that could only look like a countdown to something important for the Tokyo Game Show. It couldn't be just the game show and the fact that he likes Nerd Roderick and retweeted Nerd Roderick, is it? Him driving around Japan? No, that was it. That's all that we heard. And you know why? It wasn't because the staff were busy looking at their cell phones at the Tokyo Japan show. Something else had gone down that caused Razbam to censor themselves. And we're not talking about pixelation. That is very common in Japan. And I will not be put, putting a picture of pixelation on this screen here. But they put a black bar over Microprose. A contact of mine was at the show and informed me that he was told that there will be no discussion and no information will be provided at the Tokyo Game Show about any deals with Microprose. There were models and there was the F-15 and the Somnium VR. But beyond that, this was just another show. Except in Japan, it's also filled with a whole bunch of cosplayers that you guys can look at because that's all that we got from the Tokyo Game Show. Cosplayers, a big announcement, a whole bunch of hype, and then a whole bunch of censorship covering up the Microprose logo. Let me know in the comments what you guys think actually happened and if there's any hope for Razbam. <sighs> Plasma's out of here. Um, are you still here looking at the cosplayers? Okay, well, that that's good. I'm glad that at least that was useful. All right, Plasma's out of here for real. Talk to you later, guys.